I'll run the parameter first. We're trying to mass produce kits for face masks. Some of them are simple cloth masks. Some of them are made for healthcare workers and include a pocket for an N95 respirator. And we're trying to alleviate the shortage of PPE that is plaguing our island. It's been going very smoothly. We started prototyping on a much smaller laser cutter, but now with the bigger machine, we're able to produce at a rate of about 30 seconds for a simple mask and one minute for a more complex mask a minute. Uh, and we're hoping to scale production. So today we hope to produce uh, more than 100 kits. And uh, in fact, uh, I got a, some volunteers that are willing to run this machine when we're not here. So if we can keep fabric flowing, uh, we should be able to pick up production. I don't like walking around the community and watching all of our community workers completely unprotected. Uh, the people that work at the grocery stores and the convenience stores and the Uber drivers. Uh, and if there's something that I can do to help, then I don't want to sit by and do nothing. I have to do something. The help that we're providing are mainly um, logistical support with regards to inventorying any type of equipment that's coming in and actually equipment that's um, going out. Also for administration regarding paperwork, uh, that's what we're here to help them. Anything that deals with the logistical system. For the inventory process, whatever comes in, they actually give us a list of what needs to be inventoried and we make sure that we count it, that it's an accurate amount of um, in uh, supply that comes in. So if it's any uh, discrepancy, uh, we actually let them know saying if we're missing something or we have extra that's in here. We oversee or we manage um, response operations for major emergencies and disasters for the healthcare sector statewide. We have a coalition that involves all the hospitals, long-term care, home health hospice, dialysis centers, um, also uh, community health centers, um, laboratories, kind of the whole gamut around healthcare statewide. It is that support element is, is huge for what we do. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal for us to be able to re receive um, and have this partnership so that we can more expeditiously push things out as well as kind of organize it more effectively. And they've also helped us repair one of our older um, isopods. The other outlet that's inside broke, so we use the actual cap of the adapter to use it. Which we, we utilize to um, isolate pressure. negative pressure. So we just needed a hole on this side to create more um, airflow. Oh. So all you gotta do is put it in. Here's our yes seal on the outside. Lock it tight. Individual patients, we have three of them and one was kind of put off to the side that we're going to repair and they've been phenomenal instrumental in fixing that and I believe a bio, biomedical team is coming tomorrow to help with our new negative pressure machines help us get those up so there's a lot of different things other than just inventory that um, the guard has been instrumental in helping us with.